Oi boys, welcome back, welcome back to another video on the channel. We've got some pretty interesting news regarding one of the league's brightest prospects. Now obviously take this with a grain of salt, but uh, the mainstream rugby league media seem pretty adamant that this is the case. Reese Walsh is apparently set to depart the Warriors and join the Brisbane Broncos for the 2023 NRL season. It's strange because there were a lot of rumours surrounding Reese Walsh joining the Dolphins earlier in the year. He came out himself and shut those rumours down saying that he will be moving to New Zealand and he will be fulfilling his contract. Obviously he hasn't come out and said anything as of late, but apparently the deal with the Broncos is being finalised as we speak. If true, that is a massive get for the Broncos, or a get back should we say. So this news broke during the, uh, I'm not sure if it was actually announced, but the Raiders expected to release Charles Deco Klukstow from his final year, and he's apparently heading back to the New Zealand Warriors. I think it's personal reasons why he wants to return back home. There was always going to be chat around Charles Deco Klukstow and Xavier Savage, like who would be donning the one jersey. I guess all that's being put to bed, as it seems like Canberra were more than happy to uh, let Chance go. It's pretty rough on Warriors fans, if true, given that Reese reassured the public and Warriors supporters himself that he will be playing out his contract. Now the Warriors ain't playing this week, but I could imagine the reception he'll be receiving as soon as he touches grass at Mount Smart. If true, I gotta keep reiterating that if true part because again, he might come out and, and shut down this rumour like he did the last. So what do I reckon from a Broncos supporter perspective? If I'm being honest, he's a good get, but a strange one as I do think Selwyn Cobo will be the future for the Broncos in the one jersey, which will most likely be his from 2024 and beyond. Now, they just recently re-signed him as well. There's plenty of contention for that number one spot uh, short term for the Broncos. Maybe he does a year at fullback, then gets shifted into 5'8", to Maida Martin and Mam to 7, who knows? After Adam Reynolds is done, but that's, uh, that's thinking way too far ahead. It is interesting to think about though. Who knows, maybe Reese Walsh comes out and shuts it down again. He ends up staying and moving to 5'8", with Chance taking the fullback spots. There's plenty to speculate about. As a Broncos supporter, like I said, I'm not getting my hopes up of a Reese Walsh signing until we hear from the man himself, which will hopefully be soon. But anyway, lads, questions for you. Does Reese Walsh walk from the Warriors, and what do you think? I'm particularly interested in hearing what Warriors supporters think if he does actually leave the club, especially after coming out and telling them that he will be moving to New Zealand, he will be playing out his contract. As always though, if you enjoyed that and would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general, run us straight at that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you, 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 you. later.